Hey y'all and welcome to the Crazy Sock Lady YouTube channel. My name is Kay and this is my channel where I share all about my knitting and crocheting and crafting adventures. Today is Wednesday, August 24th. And oh my goodness, I have so much to share with y'all. So first, you may notice that I can't tell how much you can see back here. Light switch thing is missing. You might see painter's tape. We're painting the basement. <laughs> so dealing with a little bit of that in the background here today, we're getting everything ready for new carpet to go in. Um, just fresh new space down there. So if you see anything, that's what's going on. But yeah, lots to chat about today. Um, you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as the crazy sock lady. I will have links down below this video for everywhere that you can find me as well as links to all project pages, shops, etc. It will all be right down there for you. Lots of finished objects. We're just going to dive in while everything is fresh in my mind that I've just thought about that I finished and I don't have here to show because there's been a lot. So first, I finished, I can't remember, I think I was still working on Janet's socks last time. I finished Janet's socks. I should actually pull up and see what my whips were. So I did finish Janet's socks and I finished Taylor's socks and I have gifted both of them and I will put photos of those in here. I'm pulling up my show notes from last time. Yeah, it looks like I was still working on both of those. So I finished both of those gifted them they love them they fit i i did not get to see taylor wearing hers eric saw taylor after i gifted them and she had the socks on um and he said they looked super cute so she had one with like chucks i think so they were just kind of sticking out the top but I, I didn't get to see them um janet did send me a picture of her after she tried them on and they fit great so Janet's socks were out of Mama Jess Knits in the, I think it was Peacock Feathers colorway, and Taylor's were out of the August Yarnable colorway. They were both vanilla socks on nine inch. I think is how I did both of those, which is one of my patterns and tutorials here on YouTube. So I will link all the project pages, like I said, down below. But I wanted to talk about those before I forgot. I also finished the String of Lights socks that I was working on. This is, String of Lights is a pattern by Lindsay of Sock Witchery. And this yarn is Running Up That Hill by Dragon Horde Yarn. Love this colorway. And I love this pattern, so pretty. So this I did Magic Loop, US 1, 2.25 millimeter, and I've also finished two sweaters. So I finished Lily's sweater. I was still working on that last time, right? Yes, I was still working on it. It is done. This is the Festival Sweater by Petite Knit, and I knit this out of Knit Picks Swish DK. The purple is Karma Heather, and the gray is Cobblestone Heather. That's done, being gifted. Today is actually Lily's birthday. She is seven today, um, but I gifted it to her over the weekend. The boys and I went to West Virginia for her birthday party. So I got to gift that to her and it was so funny. I let her open it early because she, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> she is a typical kid and it was just, she was dying to open up a present before party time. So I let her open that up early and it was funny because she, before she opened it, she was, I can't remember if she said, it's going to be socks or is it socks? She was sure that it was socks. And I'm like, how do you not know after she opened it? I'm like, how do you not know by this point you're getting a sweater for your birthday <laughs> every year for seven years? Um, but she loved it and I need to make her socks. Obviously I haven't made her any in a while. And she really thought that was going to be a bag of socks. <laughs> Then I was working on socks the next morning when we woke up and she was like, who were those socks for? And then she said that they were, I think she said they were really pretty. I was working on my Mystic Timbers socks, um, I think. No, it was the Delirium ones. I'll show those in a moment. But yeah, so I obviously need to make her some socks. So I followed this pattern exactly aside from the sleeves. I did not do the sleeve decreases. I just knit them straight like I do 
mostly all of my sweaters and then I did a rapid decrease round just meaning that I decreased as much as I needed to in that round to get it from the stitch count it was to what it needed to be for the cuff. I love doing that. I love the look, the fit of sleeves like that. So yeah, that's Lily's sweater. Seven, seven years old. I can't believe it. <laughs> the other sweater I finished too. The other one is my sea glass sweater. I finally finished it. So I was itching to cast on the lace and fade boxy, which you will see in a minute. And before I did that, I was like, okay, this whip basket is getting a tad bit ridiculous because it has a lid and the lid just, it still will not go on, but it, it was just getting a little ridiculous. I needed to get something out before I put something else in. And I thought you were so close on that sea glass sweater that if you don't finish that at this point, it is absolutely ridiculous. So I stayed up until like 11 o'clock, which is late for me. I know that's not late for a lot of people, but that's pretty late for me and got that sweater off the needles. I am so glad that it's done. I am just gonna post like a little, the teaser picture here I posted on Instagram because it's actually laid out in the guest room blocking, but it is done. That is a pattern by wool, pattern by wool and pine designs. I will talk more in detail about it. I've talked about it on past vlogs and you can see the project page, but I'll talk more about it when it's off the blocking mats and dry. It will probably take a while <laughs> to dry, I feel like, because the fabric is pretty thick. Um, I am trying to somewhat aggressively block it. It came out a little bit tighter of a fit than I wanted. It fits but it's just a little bit tighter of a fit than I wanted, um, which I should have anticipated because it's collar work and I should have went up a size, but that's fine. Blocking works wonders. <laughs> so it will all be good. And like I said, it fits regardless. I just wanted a little bit more positive ease than it has. So I'm working that out by blocking it. Um, and then I'll show y'all on probably then I mean it'll be dry by the next episode for sure so you will get to see that then and I will talk more in detail about them but it is finished it is done it had been a while since I showed it because I all I had was I think there was like 20 ish rounds of color work and the cuff and that was it on the sleeve that was all that needed done so I just stayed up late got it done and then the next day cast on my lace and fade boxy so works in progress. I have quite a few here to show you. These I really feel like I shouldn't even really show because there's not a ton done on them, but these are my Mystic Timber socks. They're in a bag by Mountain State Stitches. And this was a sock set from Heidi and Lana that was over, it was an exclusive for Crazy Sock Lady Co. These are for Eric. I'm doing these on nine inch circulars and US zero, two millimeters is what I use for nine inch because my gauge is looser on a nine inch. I cast on 64 stitches, did my pop of color at the cuff. I have details on my Ravelry project page for how I do that. Did the contrast heel. Vanilla socks on nine inch is what I'm following for that. And then I have the other sock set from Heidi and Lana that was in the shop. This is in a bag from Barley and Pearls. Jeep bag. Super cute fabric. This was the Delirium sock set and I do have one done. I have my progress keeper. This is the progress keeper from last year's summer sock camp. We do have some of this year's progress keepers left in the shop, but I'm doing these the exact same way that I'm doing Eric's uh, vanilla socks on nine inch, 64 stitches, pop of color at the cuff. Like I said, first one's done. Second one is started. And I am going to do contrast heel and toe on both mine and Eric's socks. I think I showed both of these last time, but it, like I said, I've gotten a little bit done on them, but not really too much. 
what next? My coffee pot is no longer keeping anything warm. Beeping, if that's what you hear beeping. So let's chat. Let me show you. I, I've gotten a good bit done on my crochet granny square blanket. I haven't worked on it in probably about a week, but it's gotten a good bit done. This is in a bag from Bags by Awesome Granny. I don't know why I just totally blanked on that name. And I don't even think, do I have any squares going at all? Oh yeah, I have a tiny little square going. This I am crocheting using the row one yarn subscription. That is just a mini skein subscription service that you get once a month. And I think I've attached seven new squares since the last time you saw this. Let me stand up so you can get a bit of a better look. So I have three rows done. Best way to show you this. <laughs> I love this so much. So on my Ravelry project page, I do have links to like a written pattern for a granny square and then the video link for the join as you go method that I am using for this. I'm joining this using the, so there's nine rounds of minis just holding fingering weight double, should say that, holding fingering weight double for nine rounds. The 10th round is in the Dove Heather, which is a DK, Swiss DK. So 10 rounds total with that last round. I love this. I'm sad that I haven't worked on it in like a week, but other things have just <laughs> taken my attention. You guys know how that goes. I did start another crochet granny square blanket. I'll show you the hook I'm using for both of these when we talk about this next one. So I started a birthday present, a wallop cowl. You guys will remember if you've been around since Vlogmas last year and you watched that, that I knit a wallop cowl during December with the Moonglow Yarn Co. Advent loosely following the pattern. And this is the one that I've started. This is using Homespun House 2021 Advent Calendar. And this will be a birthday present. So the wallop cowl is, you're knitting in the round, and then you will eventually join it back around. And then you can wear it looped a couple of times. It makes it pretty long if you're using an advent. So I have notes on my project page for how I'm doing this, but I am doing 23 rounds total for each section, including the eyelet round that you can see there that I'm doing it every color change. This is super easy and mindless, no color work, no nothing. It's just knitting and then you have an eyelet round when you change color. So I will definitely be making a lot more of these with advents in the future. The leftovers, so this does not use a whole, I am just remembering I need to weigh and see how much I'm using per section on this, but um, I can't believe I totally forgot to do that. So it does not use a whole mini. What I'm doing with my leftovers is I started another crochet granny square blanket. Here's one square I have done. I'm doing it the exact same way, nine rounds of fingering weight held double, one round of Swish DK Heather, Dove Heather. I have that one done, including the border. This one done, no border yet. And then this one started. The, I didn't say, for this I'm using, again, if I forget to mention something, it's always on the project page. This is a US 4 3.5 millimeter Chalgu 16 inch, I believe is what this is. 
I did, last year I used a bigger needle size. I went down this year. I can't remember what I used last year. But this yarn is a little thinner than the Moon Glow Yarn Co. So I started it and then ended up going down. The crochet hook that I'm using, I'm using the same size and style for both of these blankets. This is a uh, Tulip Atimo for millimeter. And I did, I had some people ask where they can get these. I did link in my Amazon storefront, the links down below for those crochet hooks. This is a lot of fun to knit. It's so mindless and fun. I did go through and wind up. I took a day, I mean, didn't take a whole day, a couple of hours in an afternoon. And the advents come in these packages and I went through and wound every single one into a cake so that I can pull from the center for when I am doing the cowl and then when I get to where I'm doing the, adding it to the granny square, I pull from the center and the outside of that cake. And they're all in their little things with the numbers so I can tell which day is which. So I need to get this done. The birthday that this is for is in September. I still have a little while, um, it's toward the end of September, but I gotta get it done. There's the Swish DK. You guys have seen this so many times. I love this yarn and I obviously love the Dove Heather because it's been used a lot. This yarn is a 100%, I think it says fine, super, yeah, fine superwash merino wool. I have two other projects I've started. So this weekend I am going on a little weekend trip with some of the ladies from my knit group and then my friend for forever, Jenny of Mountain State Stitches. And we are going to, I can't remember the name of the town, it's here in Ohio, about three hours away. And Unplanned Peacock, who's a yarn dyer, has a schoolhouse that they have turned into an Airbnb. And we are going and staying at the schoolhouse this weekend. I'm so excited about it. Should be a lot of fun. But I started a new sock project. So I wanted, I asked on Instagram if I should do two at a time socks, because I've been itching to do some things that I haven't done in a while, but that I love to do. So two at a time socks, or after that, everything socks, or both. And then as I'm sitting there thinking about it, and I checked the poll to see what people were voting on, and a lot of people said both, it just clicked in my head. Like, why don't I do two at a time after that, everything socks? That just seems great. If you are not, like familiar with afterthought everything socks i do have a tutorial here on my youtube and it is basically you start with a cuff knit a tube end with a cuff and then you cut in for your heels and your toes and you can just knit 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 and not put any thought into counting or measuring or anything and then at the end measure your things out and add them i like to you guys know me i count rounds so i count rounds i measure for my foot as i'm going placing markers and it just makes it a little easier and a little less thought at the end. All you have to do is you see your markers for where your heels and toes go and you cut in at those spots. So anyways, you can watch the tutorial for more details, but I started the first one this morning. So when I do two at a time socks, whether it's two at a time normal cuff down socks or two at a time afterthought everything socks, I knit my cuffs first and then start doing two at a time. So right now I've got one cuff started. I will knit the entire cuff, put it on DPNs, knit the other cuff, and then place them both back on the needle and knit them two at a time. So I have these in a bag from Daisy Girl and Company. I love this fabric. It's one of her peekaboo bags. This is the small size. I love to use this for afterthought everything, or not afterthought everything. Two at a time socks. I love it for every kind of sock I do, but these are great for two at a time. I feel like it's a, a perfect size. Um, I actually just ordered a comforter, so I'm kind of like in the 
mode of redoing a lot of things at the house, reorganizing, decorating, because I feel like that's something we have not done in this house. And with a lot of changes that are getting ready to come up, um, as far as Crazy Sock Lady Co. goes, and I'll have some announcements to make in the future with that, but things, I'm gonna have more time here at the house, and I'm like, okay, I feel like when we moved here, I just hit the ground running with the business stuff, and now as I'm like, ready to just, I don't even know, announcements coming soon, <laughs> but I'm ready to decorate the house and really feel like we're settling in because I don't feel like we've settled into this house and we've been here, moved here in 2020. So that's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> so that's making me super excited. But what I was saying was I ordered us a new quilt for our bedroom and it is, I'm excited to get it because in the picture, it looks a lot like this fabric here it has like a burnt orange flower on it it's just it really reminds me of this so i'm very excited to get that i think it shipped and see how close they are because i think they're going to be pretty similar okay the socks that i am going to be knitting the yarns i'm going to be using for these are holly press fibers i think we still have both of these socks that's in the shop but i could be wrong if we don't um you can always check holly press fibers and see if she has them in stock so this one is dead marshes very pretty it's getting a little bit blown out it's a little darker than it's showing there we go that's a little better and then the other one is oakum mount so these ones will be for eric and then the dead marshes will be for me and this is all i've got done so far i started this this morning of course there is the pop of collar at the cuff And I'm using a 40 inch US 1 2.25 millimeter Chowgu needle for these. I like to use a 40 inch when I'm doing two at a time magic loop. So I will get this first cuff done probably while I'm editing this video and then get the second cuff started. Is there anything else I was going to say about these? And I don't typically do Afterthought Everything Socks for Eric or for myself, but I'm gonna try to make some changes in the heel area and I'll talk more about the when I do the heel to see if I can get them to fit a little better because I do thoroughly enjoy making them. And I mean, I enjoy making them and then gifting them to people that can wear that heel, but I'm gonna try a couple of things making the depth, the heel depth a little longer. I already do extra rounds, but I'm gonna be doing even more this time and seeing if I can make that adjustment work for both of us really I was gonna say just me really but no he has said that those don't fit him as well either so we will see all right last work in progress that I brought over to show it's in another bag from bags by awesome granny and this is my lace and fade boxy so this is using moon glow um yarn co I almost said Moonglow Yarn Co. Advent because I'm so used to talking about the wallop cowl when I talk about Whitney's yarn. So Whitney sent over a set that she had in her shop. Let me put them. Actually, yeah, that's the order that they will go in. Let's see if I can do this and not drop it. So here's the colors. You guys have seen this in a previous episode. But the main color that I'm working with right now is her Cottonwood Breeze, the color one. These are all fingering weight and I am doing the Lace and Fade Boxy by Hohi Locatelli. There is a mohair as well. For the lace sections. I started this yesterday. And I've, I've gotten a good little bit done for just working on it. I worked on it yesterday afternoon for a little while. And then while Wyatt was in his school of rock rehearsal, I'm trying to see which way, I think it's this way. So this right here will be like the back neck. And then this is the whole back right here. So not 
not a ton done, but I feel like it's good progress for only having worked on it for a day or a little bit of a day. So I need to measure to see how much more I have to go before I start the next section, um, one of the lace mohair sections. So I'm gonna be working on this this afternoon a little bit as well. Using Chowgu needles for that, I'm doing a size three. I don't think there was really anything else. I'm following the pattern exactly. I The only place I could anticipate that I might make a change is the sleeve section. I'm gonna try that on as I get going and I may increase a bit to make the sleeves a little bigger. We'll see as I go. And I'll let y'all know if I make any changes with that. All right, that's it for the knitting. I do have some stuff that came in the mail to share with y'all and we're gonna do a giveaway. So stay tuned. <laughs> so mail stuff, I ordered some self-striping yarn from Lollipop Yarn. I think I have a couple of things from her already, but I actually don't think I've ever worked with it. So I'm excited. These are gonna get cast on very soon. So here is her logo. This first one, they're both on her 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon base. And this first one is called Wine O'Clock. And the second one, oh wait, was that one wine o'clock? No, I've, okay, no. I knew that was gonna happen. They were in these bags all twisted up and I knew I was gonna get them confused. Okay, I'm pretty sure I just got those wrong. That one that I just showed is Bountiful. Yes, this one is Bountiful. I was looking to see, do these colors make sense with this? This is Bountiful. Ignore what I said before, that's Bountiful. And this one is Wine O'Clock. That makes more sense. Okay, let's keep that tag over there. <laughs> All right. I received a package from Bella Fio, and this is her October Dawn colorway on her Simply Soft Sock base. I also sent the Kestrel Mini Sock Set. Super cute. I think this is gonna be beautiful for some fall socks. I got a surprise package from a viewer all the way in South Africa. She wanted to share her favorite subscription box that she gets. This is the Naughty Habit Sock Club 2022. It says potpourri and cranberry. There are so many fun things in here. There's progress keeper, a notepad, she included some tea, this did not come in the box, this was just something that she had sent, in the box there was some soap, And there was, of course, yarn, and I can't wait to knit with this yarn. Look how gorgeous that is. Is that not my colors? I mean, that is perfect. So this is Potpourri and Cranberry. And this is on their fingering three-ply Superwash Merino 75% um, and 25% nylon. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, and there's also a um, pin in here, button. 
so pretty. I was so blown away when I opened that, the yarn. Oh my gosh. Could not be more me. That was so, so kind of her. Okay, I have just a few more things to show you. I received a package. Let me pull them over here. And then we'll announce our giveaway. This is from Arcane Fiberworks. Look at all of these. So gorgeous. So these are all on their fingering weight sock base, 8020 superwash merino and nylon. This one is called Wildwood. This one is Peach Petals. Heart of the Brave. I can see some socks for Eric out of this one. Busy Bee. And Autumn Drive. This one blew me away. I mean, we're getting the end of summer here and ready for fall. So definitely head over and check out Arcane Fibers. It's such a fun package to receive. So beautiful. One of these is gonna be our giveaway, by the way. All right. Cozy Cauldron Fiber Co. sent over a package and I am new to following Cozy Cauldron Fiber Co. and every single colorway that she posts just blows me away. So we have a mini skein set called Frankenstein's Bubblegum Mine. Look how pretty those are. And then these are all on the same base, 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, it's her sock base. Autumn purple ash tree, again with the fall colors. Does not wanna focus, does it? There we go. So gorgeous. Frankenstein's Bubblegum. I thought some scrappy, stripy socks out of these would be so much fun. Pumpkin Patch. And Dark Rainbow, this one is. So they're all beautiful, but this one. Obviously purple. So stunning. I can't wait to knit these up. I need to knit this one. I don't know, I kind of like, I mean, I like them all. I kind of want to knit the Frankenstein, do some scrappy, stripy socks. I can't wait to knit this up from Arcane. I don't think I showed their logo. Arcane Fiberworks and Cozy Cauldron Fiber Co. Can't wait to knit these. Oh, I have one more thing and then we'll announce our giveaway. So Barley Pearls. They sent over some project bags. Um, they said, keep what you want, use some for giveaways, however you see fit. So they sent over four project bags. Fun camper. Love these little clocks. Let's see if my, oh, an alarm clock my grandmother had. I'm pretty sure it was this exact color and shape right there. Cute sock. 
So these are all zipper boxed bottom. They have pockets on both sides. There is a ring for you to put scissors, stitch markers, whatever you want on there. So that was so sweet of them. I'll have all of these shops linked down below. It was a heavy mail two weeks. I think it's been two weeks, hasn't it? Heavy mail a couple of weeks. Okay, so our giveaway for today. We are going to do a couple of them, why don't we? Let's do, <laughs> trying to think. Let's do, <laughs> looking to see what ones go together. Okay, we're gonna do a couple little packages here. So let's do a Barley Pearls project bag with the Busy Bee by Arcane Fiber. It's Arcane Fiber, yes, Arcane Fiber works. And then the Cozy Cauldron autumn purple ash tree and this camper bag so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna have you comment down below i will draw the winners on the next episode when you comment below let's see what should you put because i just realized from watching needles at the ready that you can have people comment like keywords and then the website that I use does this and I didn't even realize that it did it. You can search through the comments for those keywords. It'll pull it and then pull a random person from those comments that all have the same word. And I think that'll be great because sometimes people don't respond to that they've won. It's like maybe they didn't even really want that and that's why they're not responding. I don't know. So we're gonna try this. Let's just have the keywords be pick me. <laughs> that works for lack of thinking of anything better at the moment. Pick me. You have to have that in your comment. I will search through the comments, do the thingy to find all those comments that have said that if you're interested in winning one of these. And it's open to anywhere because that's probably something any, some people will ask a ship worldwide for, <laughs> for the shop and for prizes. All right, I think that's pretty much it. Um, the shop, we did have some new yarn go up from Holly Press Fibers, Dragon Horde Yarn. We do still have some lingering things from the Summer Sock Camp updates, some of the yarn, um, enamel pins, progress keepers. I believe there's some mugs left. And I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I am so happy to be back after just two weeks. I, it feels great and I'm ready to be getting back it's probably not gonna be until like October, November when you really start seeing like normal, what you were used to about a year ago content for me, but I'm excited to be getting back to that and taking steps to getting back to that. So it was nice to see when I mentioned that on the last episode that y'all were also excited that there would be more normal content here on YouTube. I've missed doing it. I know that I've gotten messages that people have missed that that content and interaction, I desperately miss that interaction because that's why I love doing this, is that interaction and relationships that you build. So I'm very excited to be back to doing what I love doing more. Oh, life stuff. I did not even mention life stuff. Let's chat that really quickly. <laughs> so it's been busy around here with back to school all the things. Austin is a sophomore this year and Wyatt is in eighth grade. Wyatt got braces. I can't remember if he had gotten them the last episode or not. So just lots of back to school things and things with the kiddos. Went to West Virginia for Lily's birthday, like I said. So it was great to get to see family and actually go to her birthday party. This is the first one we've gotten to go to. Last year's got canceled because she was not feeling well and Every other year before that, we have not lived in town. Like we haven't lived here to be able to go. Um, it was like a flight away. <laughs> so this is the first year we've gotten to go. It was great. So nice to see everyone. 
Um, Wyatt and I are going to see My Chemical Romance tonight, which is one of my favorite bands from back when I was in high school. I think they came out. I don't remember when their first album came out. I'm pretty sure I was still in high school or right out of high school or something like that. Um, so I'm super excited. I've never seen them before. Wyatt also really likes them. So we're driving down to Cincinnati tonight. It's about an hour. Well, probably take longer than an hour with traffic on the way down. Hoping it won't be longer than an hour on the way back when we're not driving through rush hour traffic. But yeah, it should be a lot of fun. I'm excited. I haven't been to a concert with him in a long time. So it'll be super fun to go see them with Wyatt since he likes them as well. I think that's all I've got. Thank you again so much for joining me for today's episode. Don't forget to comment, pick me. You can comment anything else that you would like, but your comment has to include pick me to be eligible to enter for the prizes. And you do need to be subscribed to the channel as well if you are not already. So, all right, I will see you guys again, hopefully in just two weeks. Maybe I'll vlog this weekend for the trip. Let me know below if you guys would like to see a vlog of the trip this weekend. I think it could be fun and I haven't done a vlog in forever. So a fun knitting weekend vlog could be a good way to get back into vlogging. I'm out of practice, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, thank you again. And I will chat with y'all soon. Until then, happy knitting, bye.